It's a real pleasure to have you. Let me give you the floor first, because I guess we have, uh, we have uh, uh, important uh, announcements, and then I will have the opportunity to respond. So, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Kiriakos uh, Mitsukakis, uh, dear ministers, and in particular, let me uh, give a special, a special um, thank you uh, to the Minister of Development and Investments, uh, uh, Mr. Adonis Piogiadis, all the other ministers and the deputy, Pri the deputy ministers present. It is, in fact, my pleasure to announce that the Commission has adopted this morning uh, the Greek uh, Partnership Agreement. And uh, it is the first member state with an approved partnership agreement for the programming year of 2021-27. Um, it's, it's really a great pleasure for me, but this, this honors the work that has been done uh, by, by the Greek government, uh, by, the, by all the, the staff that worked very, very hard on all the negotiations. But I think we have reached a very uh, important agreement with uh, an investment that is in itself uh, quite substantial. Uh, we, we talk a lot in all the member states a lot about the recovery and resilience uh, facility and programs, which in fact are a very important, uh, uh, um, exceptional new recovery instrument. But in fact, uh, we, we only have the full impact when we get together uh, this uh, new kind of instrument with the, the so-called old but uh, always needed ones. And so we are talking about uh, 21 billion of uh, investment that is uh, directly uh, associated with the recovery of uh, and co convergence agenda, not only of Greece as a whole, but in particular uh, the internal convergence inside Greece. So territorial convergence is in itself the reason why this funding is there. But the two instruments, and uh, we believe that, uh, that the Greek uh, program is uh, absolutely adequate to, uh, to create all the possible synergies between the, the RRP and uh, these, uh, these more traditional instruments. And by referring to this, I would like to underline, if you allow me, Prime Minister, just a couple of elements in this, uh, in this proposal that I think are deserve looking at and valuing. One of them is in fact that uh, you are now investing a lot on uh, research and innovation. Not that you haven't done it before, but there is a reinforced agenda that works very nicely together with the uh, effort also to, um, to anticipate your climate targets uh, to the year of 2028 with all the effort that it means, but also the new opportunities associated with it. The other element that I'd like to underline is in fact, uh, we see in the plan that there is a lot of work also on uh, governance models at the national and regional uh, level, both in uh, waste treatment, in water treatment, uh, in the organization of the research and innovation schemes, and, and in fact, also in the structure of the, of the entities that manage the, 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 the programs and the funds. And this uh, uh, qualification of the management uh, and the capacity of the beneficiaries, and I'm speaking also of municipalities, of uh, Ergose and other uh, institutions that, uh, that have a specially important role. Uh, I think it's very important that we look at the management capacity of all the entities, and this uh, joins very nicely with the reform agenda of the RRP, but also it has its own role inside the management of this massive funding. And of course, it all works with a, a, a faster uh, agenda for territorial cohesion. And, uh, and, uh, and this is again uh, the essence why we are doing this, uh, managing these funds. So it's in fact 
In fact, if you have a more balanced country, you have more power in the, the economic and, uh, and, uh, and the dynamism in the more dynamic areas, in this case of Attica, because in fact, you don't have the burden of all the, the people that migrate searching for jobs and, uh, and all the congestion. Uh, and you have a more resilient economy because you have not only one pole, but several development poles. So it was really very, very important the discussion that our services had, that I personally had with, uh, with the Minister uh, Adonis Georgiadis. And, uh, and I think we achieved a very nice and interesting uh, balanced uh, uh, framework on which, in fact, the leadership of Greece uh, it will be will be important not only for uh, for the Greeks but for Europe because the success of Greece and the convergence that it will trigger and the speeding up of the dynamism based on a new uh, axis of competitiveness uh, will be in fact uh, um, relevant and uh, I would say even essential for for Europe as as such. Um, I would like very much, uh, Prime Minister, to visit in loco, to come to Greece uh, very soon, uh, because uh, also to see you are betting a lot on regions like uh, Western Macedonia and, uh, and other regions that, uh, that really, uh, for which the work is going on, the plans are being drafted. And so uh, it's really very important that now the follow-up is as successful as we have been until now in this mutual collaboration. So uh, from my side, just a warm um, thank you. And, uh, and, uh, and our eyes and our teams are, are really, I mean, uh, very, very willing uh, and interested in developing now this framework in all the, the possible ways and in the best ways for the benefit of the of the countries of Europe and of cohesion policy, because it has really a very important role to play in the future of Europe. So thank you very much once again. Well, Commissioner, thank you very much for your uh, kind words. Uh, and let me start by thanking you, your services, but also uh, our team here uh, in Greece, uh, uh, Minister uh, Georgiadis, uh, Deputy Minister Tsakiris, uh, our Secretary um, Generals at the Ministry of Development, uh, uh, our team uh, uh, at uh, the Prime Minister's uh, office for what I think is indeed a very, very uh, significant uh, achievement. This is a very important moment for Greece. And in headline um, number terms alone, uh, this new partnership uh, um, uh, agreement for regional development uh, represents, in total, if we also include um, um, uh, um, uh, funds, uh, uh, national funds, 26.2 uh, billion euros of financing over the next six years. And if we add to that uh, 18 billion euros of grants, 13 billion euros of loans through the Recovery uh, and Resilience Fund, but also the new common agricultural policy and the remaining EU financing packages, we have almost 77 billion, let me repeat, 77 billion euros available uh, to reinforce uh, the rapid recovery of uh, the Greek economy. And uh, I know we've worked very, very hard to get this uh, done. Uh, while our RRF uh, um, plan was among, uh, amongst the first to be uh, approved uh, uh, by the Commission, we went one better with the partnership uh, agreement. Uh, it is the first it was the first to be submitted. It is officially, as of today, uh, the first to be uh, approved, as you uh, just uh, announced. Uh, and again, I would like to uh, express my satisfaction uh, uh, regarding the level of cooperation, but also uh, regarding the fact that we do share a common understanding of how the various um, uh, financial instruments that we have at our disposal should work in conjunction towards achieving uh, our, main, our main goals, uh, one of which, of course, is, uh, is regional uh, convergence, uh, you know, so uh, important uh, in Greece, but also uh, across um, uh, Europe, but also uh, the ability to, to implement uh, the digital uh, transformation, uh, moving towards uh, an economy um, with fewer and eventually no 
um, um, emissions, uh, but also strengthening uh, social uh, cohesion and making sure that uh, we make um, you know, many good jobs available um, uh, for young Greeks. Uh, as you know, we still have uh, high levels of uh, uh, unemployment, and for us, uh, job creation uh, across Greece uh, is of particular uh, importance. Uh, uh, you know, the regions have been strengthened uh, in, uh, um, uh, during the current programming period, uh, and uh, uh, we, we have uh, more funding but more competence, which also places the burden of responsibility uh, also on the regions to make sure that uh, uh, they, uh, they deliver um, uh, when it comes to implementing uh, our core um, uh, policies. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to uh, um, uh, working uh, with all involved parties to make sure that we mobilize these funds as quickly as possible. I think the Greek economy, the Commissioner, is extremely well positioned to grow rapidly um, post-COVID. Uh, uh, all the indications that we have uh, are rather uh, encouraging. Uh, Greece is becoming uh, in, an, an investment destination. We're mobilizing foreign but also local capital, and with the addition of European funds, um, we are creating um, uh, a, a very uh, promising uh, environment to break out of a, a, a vicious cycle that essentially lasted for a decade uh, and to make sure that the next decade uh, is, is one of rapid but also quality-driven growth. This is not just about um, uh, uh, GDP growth as, as a number. Uh, it's also about the quality of the growth. It's about social uh, cohesion. It's about the green uh, transition. It's about making sure that no region is left behind, especially those regions um, uh, where we uh, uh, are uh, implementing a very rapid move away from, from lignite. And I know your personal interest in, in Western uh, Macedonia, and we know that we have uh, many different pockets of financial instruments directed um, uh, towards that uh, region. But also, I'm happy to, to inform you, a lot of interest, a lot of investment interest um, uh, for new types of investments that will create uh, better jobs and possibly even more jobs uh, in Western Macedonia, but also in the region uh, of, uh, uh, of Megalopoli. Let me just uh, conclude by saying that uh, I'm also um, very happy that we have uh, uh, important innovations that have to do with the governance. You, you referred to this issue. We want faster and more efficient mobilization of resources while always adhering to the highest levels uh, of, uh, of transparency. Uh, and uh, you know, the simplification of the process for the evaluation and disbursements uh, uh, of grants, uh, in my mind, is moving uh, in that direction. So we want, to, we want to take the lead, not just uh, in terms of absorbing uh, the funds themselves, but also in terms of how we actually get, uh, uh, get the job uh, uh, done. So um, uh, let me again thank you uh, once more. Uh, we're looking forward to welcoming you uh, to Athens uh, 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 as soon as possible, to Greece, I should say, because uh, this is, as you said, this is not just about Athens. This is not just about um, uh, the region of, uh, uh, of Attica and uh, uh, the cohesion funds uh, are an important uh, instrument in making sure that no region uh, is actually left behind. And I'm glad that you, you highlighted, and let me conclude with this remark, uh, the importance of the traditional you know, pillars uh, uh, of uh, European policy when it comes to uh, the cohesion policy on the one hand and the common agricultural policy on the other hand. Uh, these have always uh, been uh, the, the instruments which are most associated uh, in the minds of our citizens uh, with, uh, uh, with, with European policy and European solidarity. You know, we fought a very hard battle uh, at the Council to, to make sure that uh, um, we preserve um, uh, the funding. And now we're moving as one, you know, one step further in the right direction, making sure that we actually make good use uh, of the funds. So again, thank you so much for, uh, um, uh, for your support uh, and, uh, and your assistance. Adoni, do you want to add something? I, I just wanted to say, Mr. Prime Minister, that I want to thank Elisa on a very personal basis because she worked and her team very hard to achieve this goal, uh, to take today uh, the official approval of our partnership uh, as the first country of the European Union. And I have to say that, that this 
terrible year of COVID-19. Uh, our officers work together very uh, hardly in order to make the use of uh, European funding in a such way that helped our economy to sustain ourselves uh, as much as I could, as we could during these uh, circumstances. So I really want to, to welcome Elisa in Greece. I, I think maybe she could come in TIFF, Mr. Prime Minister, and we would see her there because we'll have a big place that will promote all the big uh, things that we're doing through the ESPA funding. And uh, we really want to show the Greek people how uh, our participation in European Union makes the life of the Greek people better. Because this, this is the main idea, to show to everybody uh, that being a member of the European Union is a good thing and it changes our life for the better. So I want to thank Mrs. Ferreira and her team because we today we achieved a difficult goal that was important for us and it couldn't happen without her personal assistance. Thank you very much to all the team and uh, now a new phase starts and uh, and I just hope uh, with all sincerity that it will be as uh, constructive as uh, and as, as successful as these initial phases. Uh, these were very difficult times and we have been in, perf in per um, permanent contact and also from my side I want to thank uh, in particular, in the person of Adonis, I, I, I thank all the team from your side, and um, and in fact, a very good uh, relationship of cooperation and mutual understanding has been the ingredient that allowed for this success now. Um, but now, of course, delivery is the, the target, and as you correctly mentioned, Miss uh, Prime Minister, it is in fact, uh, I mean, a very historical occasion for Greece and all other countries that really need to speed up cohesion to do it and to do it in a better way with all the ingredients and all the vision that together in Europe we have been uh, uh, capable of developing. And so, I mean, uh, even if, uh, if now Adon is, 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 uh, is uh, I mean, limited to his place, but as you mentioned, he, I mean, this shows how the work on vaccines has, has in fact been uh, positive and, uh, and, um, and efficient. Now we are coming, it seems, out of this deep uh, problematic period. Uh, I think Europe was there and we collaborated throughout it with REACT and with all the other, the other instruments and CRE and all these acronyms, but that, that in fact helped people help the companies with sure and all this uh, but now it's it's building back uh, in a speedy and uh, more intelligent way and uh, we count on Greece uh, with all this stamina and all this vision that uh, we'll have a lot of success stories to tell across Europe and to the world thank you very much thank you again very much for participating commissioner all much. the best